buying a home? Want to know about the common issues in seller disclosures on the property you may be buying? Well, that's what I'm covering in this video, so stay right there. <laughs> Welcome back, my name is Dale Corpus. I'm a realtor in the Tri-Valley area in the East Bay of the San Francisco Bay Area and I post videos every Friday about all things real estate. In this episode, we're taking a closer look at seller disclosures. When a homeowner puts their house on the market, they'll prepare a packet of disclosures full of important information about the property. Real estate disclosure laws vary sometimes even on a county by county basis, but most sellers have a legal responsibility to tell potential buyers about past or present property issues. Disclosures will usually include the age and condition of electrical systems, water and sewage systems, HVAC units, appliance, roofs, gutters, and more. They may also reveal any repairs or upgrades made by the seller. Sellers are usually required to provide disclosure statements within a week of accepting an offer, and some sellers make them available even upfront before making your offer. As a buyer, you should take full advantage of this opportunity to spot any red flags that could come back and haunt you. If the seller's disclosures reveal a major issue at the home, Buyers can typically bow out of the deal without losing their earnest money deposit. So details revealed in the seller disclosure packets can also help you if you're hoping the seller will cover the cost of repairs or additional inspections before closing. It's a seller's responsibility to disclose, but it's your job as a buyer to closely review disclosures. Ask your realtor if you have any hesitation before signing off on your seller's disclosure packet. So what can you expect to learn in disclosures. Generally, sellers have to duty to disclose any known issues that may be present, health or safety concerns. Depending on state laws, sellers will disclose information on anything from lead paint to lousy neighbors. In the San Francisco Bay Area, for example, sellers must disclose issues as specific as a history of unpleasant odors in the neighborhood. So check with your realtor about requirements in your area. Some possible issues to look for can include lead paint, mold, asbestos, wood destroying insects or other pests, improvements made without permits, foundation problems, and more. Overall, some states are more lax than others in terms of what sellers must disclose. Extensive property knowledge is required to make detailed disclosures, so sellers who have not occupied a home are exempt from standard disclosures in many cases. So this applies to homes that are being sold as a part of a trust, a bank owned property such as a, a short sale of foreclosures, and homes being sold by relocation companies. Buyers may be able to recoup repair money or damages from sellers who fail to disclose known issues. Every situation is different and you may be able to address the issues directly with the seller or through their listing agent. Some buyers pursue action through small claims court or even state court. So talk with your realtor um, or attorney about your specific concerns in the situation. As a buyer, it is important to diligently review seller disclosures before signing them and moving forward with your home purchase. The examples we covered here represent some of the most commonly disclosed items, but it is crucial to research your area specific guidelines and take every step you can to safeguard your financial future. If you found this helpful, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You may also want to check out my past video on the nine biggest surprises when buying a home. The link to that video is up on the top corner of the screen. Again, I'm Dale Corpus from eXp Realty in San Ramon, and I help buyers and sellers throughout the Bay Area and Tri-Valley, and I'll see you on my next video.